Hello and welcome to K2P classes. The objective of this class is to learn circle forecasting. The ultimate goal of life be free from circle of life and death. Class objectives. Introduction to circle and properties of circle. And to prove two theorems. First one is the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. And the second one is the length of tangents drawn from the external point to circle are equal. So first introduction to circle. What is a circle? A ring, a bangle, all we call, the shape is called circle. But mathematically, what is the definition of a circle? A circle is the locus. What is locus? Locus is a path on which a point moves. So, circle is the path of a point or locus of a point which moves in such a way that a distance from a fixed point is always a constant and that distance is called radius. Or in another word, a curve forming a closed loop, every point on which is a fixed uh, distance from a center point is a circle. The radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So this is radius. You take any point on the circle, a distance from the fixed point that is called central will be always constant and that is called radius. So this point is called center and this distance is called radius. The diameter is just double of radius or you can define the diameter starts at one point of the circle, goes through the center and end on the other side. Like they start from one point, ends on the another point, but it always passes through center of the circle and this distance is called diameter and diameter is always double of radius. The circumference is the distance around the edge of the circle. So if you start from here and come just move on the circle and reach the same place, the distance you have covered is called circumference. A golden ratio is found long back in India. That if you divide the circumference of any circle by its diameter, you will get a constant number 3.141592654 on, on and this particular number is called pi. You take any big circle or a small circle, any circle and divide its circumference by its diameter. It's always 3.14 and this particular ratio is called pi. This particular number is called pi. When we divide, divide the diameter, we get 3.1465. Now, a line goes from one point to another on the circle, circumferences is called a chord. From here, it goes here, it is called chord. And if 
cord is passing through center, it is called diameter. And a part of circumference is called arc. From here to here it is arc. From here to here it is arc. This is called tangent. A line which just touches the circle at any point is called tangent. A pija slice is called sector. That means the area between two ready and arc is called a sector segment segment is the area between any chord and arc this is this area is called segment the quadrant and semicircles are two special type of sectors quarter of a circle is called a quadrant Half of a circle is called semicircle. So we know that circumference by diameter is pi. So we can say circumference equal to pi into diameter. And diameter is 2 into radius. So circumference is 2 pi r, 2 pi radius. Let us see one question. You walk around a circle which has a diameter of 100 meters. How far have you walked? Very simple. You have to walk to the circle. So the distance you cover is equal to circumference of the circle. And what is that? That is 2 pi r. So where is r? r is 50 here because diameter is 100. So distance walk equal to circumference pi into 100 meter, 314 meters to the nearest meter. The area of a circle is pi times the radius square. So which is equal to a equal to pi r square. How it comes pi r square? We will learn when we will learn area chapter but here in the circle uh, just know the area of a circle is pi r square questions what is the area of a circle with a radius 1.2 meter that is 4.52 meter square Prove that angle between a tangents and the radius drawn to the points of contact is a right angle. Here we will uh, use a particular technique that is called Redicto ad absurdum method. What is that method? Suppose we have to prove something A. Then we will assume not A and we do chain of operations and then uh, we will come to a point which contradictory our statement that not A. That means not A is false and that means A is true. So to prove that OT is perpendicular to AB. Assume that OT is not perpendicular to AB. Then there must be a point D say on AB such that OD is perpendicular to AB. Since ODT is a right angle ODT is a right angle then ODT is a acute angle because this is a triangle and if this is a right angle then other two angles have to be acute angle 
but the greater angle is opposite the greater side as you since this is 90 so the side OT must be greater than OD but OT equal to OC because the OT and OC are ready of the same circle therefore OC is also greater than OD that the part greater than whole which is impossible because OC is the part of line OD and OD must be OC plus CD so OD must be greater than OC but here we see that uh, OC is greater than OD which is not possible therefore OD is not perpendicular to AB that means if take any point other than T on the line AB and we can prove that the at that point it is not perpendicular to line AB so it proves that OT is T is the only point where it makes 90 degree so therefore OT is perpendicular to AB now prove that lengths of a triangle drawn from an external point to the circle are equal let us consider a circle with center O, a point P outside the circle. We draw two tangents which touches the circle at point A and B. Now we have to prove that PA equal to PB. With center of circle at O, draw straight line OA and OB. Draw a straight line OP. In right angle, O, B, P and O, A, P. O, A equal to O, B because both are radius of the circle. Angle A equal to angle B 90 from the previous theorem because radius makes 90 degree angle on tangent. And OP equal to OP because OP is the common line between two triangles. So triangle OBP and OAP are concurrent. And therefore PA equal to PB proved. So length of both the tangents from a external point to a circle or same. So thank you very much. We will meet some other class, some other topic.